Yo, what is up, guys and girls? We are back with a second video on Man of Medan. Now, um, I really enjoyed that first part. It's it was quite good, even though there was quite a few jump bits. Um, I still have my headphones on loud. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into it again. And I had to carry on from where I left off because it didn't save. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah. Yeah, looks like World War Two. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. All right. What was that walk for? Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. <coughs> these okay not in there what's up how you doing sorry that brewski got the better of me hey all part of the adventure sorry for putting a damper on things no worries dude more than that, just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Ah. Doesn't look kosher. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, say nothing. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. All right. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Okay. What's that? Ah. Yes. It's 
Sweet. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I've a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, say nothing. You know what? Hey guys, I can't stop you. Already. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Yeah, well, you got uh, fake certificates, so you know. Just saying. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. <laughs> okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Uh, um, I don't know what one either is. <sighs> I got the bank stick. Good to go. Oh, I heard that about you. Ha, Just ha. remember the rules. You ever have please? to use one? On a shark? Nope. <laughs> Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you going to bring your bang stick? <laughs> the front cabin is going to pop its portholes. We've got a shark. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. <laughs> It's pretty Damn. intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Oh. Let's swim around a little right. and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Shh. 
Sure. Why not? Take the drink. <laughs> Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. You know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. <laughs> what are you meant to put to that? I don't know. It's um, a tricky one. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. <laughs> I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> okay. And another trophy. Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? Hmm. Go and see how uh, the the brother is doing. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially <laughs> starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Oh, what was that? So 
the same place. It's not a moving. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Sweet. Uh-oh. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Oh, great. Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Great. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Cotton. The turret. We can get in through there. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. 
Yeah, maybe it is. Bullet hole. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Alright, okay. Alright. Just swim, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have, I'll end up having heart attack. Oh. Excuse me, sir, but can you put that gun down? Oh! 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 I think I wet my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. <laughs> like a girl. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. He's holding something. Right. We know. We know. Let's go. something back there. He's holding something. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Okay, okay, then. If you say so. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. Yes. Oh. I 
know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Damn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? <laughs> Liz, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> Taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now go, go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Cancer. I'm probably going to leave this video here, though. Um, I will have to carry on from here. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, definitely go and smash the thumbs up. Um, you know, comment on what games you like me to play. And slap the subscribe button uh, and bring on the subscriber storm it's only you guys who make it possible for me to know what games to play um, bring in that support show some love um, everyone who's who's already subscribed are amazing um, showing me 
the, the views obviously knowing that that I'm doing like doing the right sort of content um, and yeah like I say just just keep carrying on doing doing stuff that you love for you that's all you can do um, anyway like I say in every video guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next one Dex out Thank <laughs> you.